And here we are today, and we're going to make this UFO spaceship type thing out of recycled items, uh, which I have just lying around the house here. So whatever you have lying around the house at your end, you can also use to make your own UFO spaceship type thing. So as you can see there, we've got two semicircle half things, and they're both like trifle trays that you get from the supermarket with trifle or whatever inside i can't remember exactly what was inside those uh pots but they're slightly different one's got quite a nice little pattern on it like sort of triangle shapes which will come in useful for when we get around to painting um also found some old cooker knobs uh deodorant uh bottle and some coffee tops and other tops which I don't know where they came from. So we're going to use, I'm using Gorilla Glue there and I've glued the two halves together on those trifle parts and now we're just gluing the uh, cooker knob thingies together and we're going to apply that to the spaceship also as you can see there. So I kind of make it up as I go along on this uh, particular project we've done a there was another there's another spacecraft um video on the channel uh using recycled items but more of a, like a rocket shape so um this particular model here is going to be used as a ufo prop in a uh, video for uh, the moon runner music channel at some point so when that when that when that's done, um, I'll stick the uh, link in the description below. So there, as you can see, we've glued in a cooker knob onto our orb shape made up with the two pieces at the beginning, the trifle halves, bowls, if you like. And now we've got another knob and we're going to stick that on the bottom. And that's going to kind of act as our thruster. So that's like glued in the other way around to give us like a thruster shape. Did I say I was using Gorilla Glue? Yeah, I'm using Gorilla Glue, which is kind of like a super glue. So we're using that to uh, glue all our components together. I've kind of loosely based this spaceship around the ET spaceship. So those of you that have watched ET, you'll be familiar with the ET spaceship. So I kind of wanted something that looked a little bit like a friendly-ish UFO, because in this uh, music video, there's going to be kind of a... Close Encounters um, influence in the video. And now we've got a top of a deodorant, a roll-on deodorant there, which I kind of thought looked as like, like a sort of communication point on the top of the spaceship. But also, um, at the beginning of the video, there's there's some superimposed lights so i thought that could like act nicely as a light and at the beginning of the video show that that the little snippet a uh, little movie where i superimposed uh lights onto the spacecraft to make it look at, to make it look like it's lighting up and uh, i did that in photoshop and obviously used the video editor to uh, create the sort of animation effects but if anybody's interested, we perhaps we make a spaceship later on where we actually employ real LED lights into the uh, spacecraft or whatever model prop we will build. So if anybody's interested, uh, leave a comment in the description below. So sometimes these videos don't really generate that much uh, interest on the channel, but I quite like doing it. And this is a prop for a video anyway, so just as well film it as we go along. So as you can see there, while well, I've been wittering on, I nearly dropped the model there. Uh, I was, uh, glued in some lids on the base there, so they could kind of emulate maybe the door into the uh, um, a door into the actual UFO and other things, batteries or something or whatever is attached to a UFO. So now we're going to prime. UFO ready for the paint job, which will be in the next part of this video. So we're just going to prime. Yeah, I dropped it again. Oh dear. So just going to prime the uh, UFO and let that dry for the night, and then we can get on and paint our paint effects onto our spaceship UFO prop. 
So there we are. That's it for this video. And we'll see you in the next video for the paint job. So here we are on part two of um, making our UFO prop model and we've already primed the model and of course built it. Uh, so this is part two and this is the final part in this little mini series. So um, starting off here with putting a base coat of uh, cast iron metallic paint. So we're using that as our base coat and I let that dry, dry overnight so we've got a good nice solid finish ready to dry brush and put washes over the top all that sort of thing so um i did actually put a couple of coats of the cast iron paint onto the object and uh so once we've um got our base coat down and it's nicely set uh, we can start applying other colors and layers so i did actually start off after we put the uh, base coat down, put in a wash of a kind of rusty mixture of brown mixed with um, black, just a hint of black, just to kind of give us a rusty coloured look. So you'll see that coming up shortly. And then after we put the wash down, um, we dry brush some silver metallic paint over the top. Actually, I've just missed a stage. We start after this cast iron paint is set. Uh, we put some silver paint onto the surface but we dry brush this onto the surface and we put a solid coat on the top of the UFO spaceship thing so I wanted that one solid colour and then we dry brushed um, over the textures of the main body of the spacecraft UFO prop. So sorry about that, Mr. Stage. My brain must be in space somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, uh, most of us are familiar with the dry brushing technique. If you're not, just check out some other videos on the channel. And there is a dry brush video on the channel, I think, anyway. But that might need updating, so I might put another video up on dry brushing shortly. So uh, we got a cloth there, just wipe the excess paint out of the brush and then just dry brush the paint onto the object where we want uh, the dry brushing to take place. So it gives you a kind of worn looking effect. I think about I said in the last video, I sort of based this or loosely based this uh, UFO shape on the ET spaceship. So it's kind of sort of half comical if you like and half um, serious is that the right word I don't know so just touching up some silver there and once that's gone off and I think I let that dry for the night also or I might have just run a hairdryer over it we can uh, start applying our wash and like I say that was a mixture of brown mainly brown mixed with a hint of black just to darken it up a little bit so as you can see, they're just using a small brush to put some um, silver in places, like on the extremities of the spaceship. So looking good so far. So you might have seen the video clip, or you probably have, or you will have, will have done if you've watched this video. So this is going to be used in a music video at some point on the other channel, Moonrunner Music. So if you're interested in music, uh, have a gander over at um, Moonrunner Music. It's going to be farting around a lot on this uh, silver paintwork. So there, that's where we're at, and now we're ready for the wash. So you see I've got a reference photo in the background there of the E.T. spaceship, along with other things. There's a little drawing there of uh, a hand, which I'm not sure if I put on the channel or not. I don't think I did. And a concrete cast of a skull with a snake coming out of its eye. So anyway, back to the video, and now we're on to the wash, which, I keep, which I've kept on about. The brown wash mixed with a little bit of black. Brown mixed with a little bit of black, so we watered down... 
the acrylic paint to give us a nice fluid wash if you like and then we uh, use a damp cloth to wipe away the excess so it kind of gives you that worn look over the spacecraft UFO and there's other videos on the channel again like the dry brushing which goes into more detail about washes what uh, putting your wash on and uh, wiping away the excess paint to reveal the uh, paint underneath so it's all up to your preference on how you want your items to look when you use washes and dry brushing techniques so I've got the damp cloth I think I just put one layer of wash over the whole UFO object And then once you've got that wash in place, I just touched up with a bit of silver. Um, in certain places, just to create some more highlight and depth to the overall look of the spacecraft. But before we get to that stage, just let that wash dry. So that's where we're at at this stage, which I think looks quite groovy with a kind of worn look. And now just final touches. So dry brushing with a big brush, big paintbrush again. Just an ordinary household wall brush. And little touches with a small paintbrush. Small painter's paintbrush. Art brush if you like. So all made from recycled items, of course, this UFO. And looking forward to putting it into action to make the music video. Once the music video is done, I'll put the link in the description below if anybody's interested in watching them. So of course this is a prop. And it uh, would be nice to make something like this with LED lights in the ship. But for the special effects for this ship... Uh, we'll be using Adobe Photoshop to put layers over the top lights and things like that. So it'll all be done via the computer, Adobe Photoshop and a video editor. So there we are, job done. So if anybody's interested in an LED version of this, uh, if there's enough people that are interested, then we'll make something similar and install some LEDs also. So there we are, that's where we're at, and ready to make the video using the UFO prop. So anyway, thanks for watching, see you soon, and over now for now.